our vocabulary story, our read along this week is Living in the Far North, Alaska's Athabascans. Like other early Native Americans, early Athabascans used every part of the animals they hunted. Meat and fat became food. Bones were made into tools and weapons. Hides became clothes and tent covers. Dried tendons provided the sinew that women used for sewing. Similarly, no fish parts were wasted. Some fish skins became waterproof parkas. In the spring, many Athabascans moved from winter villages to fish camps along the rivers. There they used dip nets, basket-shaped traps, poles with hooks, and spears to catch salmon and other fish. A fence, or weir, built near the mouth of a small stream was often used to channel fish into nets made from willow bark or basket traps. To store the fish for, fin for winter meals, Athabascans cleaned, split, dried, and often smoked the fish. In the fall, some Athabascan groups hunted large animals, especially caribou. This was when the caribou began their migrations. The moose came together by the rivers then to seek mates, and fattened bears got ready to hibernate in their dens. Smaller, fur-bearing animals, including rabbits, muskrats, porcupine, beaver, and squirrel, were hunted in the late fall and early spring. No one knows how long ago the Athabascans arrived in North America. For many thousands of years, Native American peoples have occupied the vast forested interior regions of Alaska and northwestern Canada. How did they adapt to the lengthy, intense winters and the very short summers of the subarctic climate in this land of huge mountain ranges and large, powerful rivers? The lives of early Athabascans in Alaska reflect the weather patterns, changing seasons, and the behavior of fish and game. Athabascans often traveled great distances to find food. They relied on hunting and trapping animals, fishing, and gathering wild plants. Some groups near the coast depended more heavily on salmon than on land animals and even hunted sea animals using harpoons and kayaks. Food was difficult to obtain, so mo most Athabascans did not live in large permanent villages. Some Athabascans spent the long, frigid winters in houses built partially underground. Others lived in rectangular log houses with sod roofs. Dome-shaped structures covered with caribou or moose skin or sawn birch bark sheltered others. Early Athabascans lived in accordance with the seasons and respectfully made use of nature's resources. What can people today learn from their example?